One of my all-time favorite videos on YouTube used to be what's in my bag videos, but I feel like no one makes those videos anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's like too outdated, but it's still one of my favorites. Sometimes I would see the people I follow post that kind of video. It's like, ugh, I, I just love it. It like takes me back to those days. So I wanted to do a very quick what's my bag video. I just got the goods. I live in the Bay Area and they just opened Italy. I've honestly been waiting for them to open for I feel like two years at this point. It's it was very frustrating, but they finally opened and they have one of my favorite tiramisu's. It is so good. I actually eat this whole thing in one sitting. So please don't tell me how many calories is in this thing because I don't need to know. And I just found out that they have an even bigger party size. It's like literally a platter. So I'm gonna get that next time. But yeah, let's get on to the what's in my bag video. This bag, if you've been a follower of my channel, you've probably seen it many, many times in like my outfits video. I got this last June. So it's been literally a, a year. It's a vanity case from Goyard and this chain did not come with it. I bought it separately. At least where I live, I actually have never seen this bag in my life and i get a lot of compliments on it one of the things i love about this is because it's a vanity it actually comes with like a mirror too i never took the sticker off because it's like the moment i take it off it's going to be ruined with all my fingerprints and i hate fingerprints you're on camera it's like a credit card literally like i always call this a like credit card it's like so funny but just you know face check everything teeth check whatever this is i think the oldest designer like item i own as you can see it is fucked up i had this for like seven years at this point like it is falling apart the button for your information used to be gold but it turned to silver um quite a while ago and then now it's like showing a bit of copper so we've gone through all the stages it's just the six like key ring holder and i put all my like cards in there you can put like some cash in there but you just gotta fold it i don't know i love lv when it's like very old like that classic look but i'm starting to see threads so that's just that's not a good look <laughs> it's a little crusty but i just can't find a replacement like nothing is as good as this and as durable as this and like around the good price point i don't know how much this is i don't even want to know with all the price increases but i love this thing on a day-to-day -day basis when i go out i actually don't carry a purse i'm just not like a purse person but i'm trying to use my purses because why the hell do i buy them then you know but on a day-to-day -day basis i usually just carry my phone and this and i'm good to go like this like these two are like my life these are saint laurent and i bought them on my birthday last year in hawaii it's like all gold says saint laurent whoops it looks very retro to me kind of like vintage vibe because it's like all gold this is what they look like on it's so pretty and i feel like there's not a lot of sunglasses that actually fit my face or like will actually sit on my face because i have such a like small nose um, but this really just stays on my face. It's not too heavy because it's just like a metal frame. So it's not too much pressure on my nose bridge. So I don't get like too big of a crease. I don't get like a headache or anything. But yeah, I love these so much. I actually stopped wearing lipstick, lip liners, lip glosses like once and for all. <laughs> Maybe I would wear it once a year if it's like some really important like day or something but usually i would always wear aquaphor don't even like put on anything i threw away like 200 lipsticks that i own it just doesn't fit my lifestyle but aquaphor does i have like four of them in like every corner of the house i love them and then i have some mints in here these aren't really minty anything with like a flavor i feel like doesn't really have that like minty flavor so this doesn't really help if you have to like get rid of like smell but it's just cute and then oh my gosh look at this look at this tragic hand cream i don't know if you can see 
but I got this when my dog was still a puppy with those dangerous puppy teeth. Somehow, like I was gone and she got a hold of this and I came home to this. She just like ate it, like completely destroyed. And I was devastated because I had just barely gotten this and I've always wanted this. And you know how, or I don't know about everyone, but for me, there are just some things in life that I don't want to buy with my own money. Like I want to get them as a gift. So I would just wait until like someone gets it for me as a gift. If it happens, then it's, then it's great. And if it doesn't, then it's just not meant to be or sometimes I will like cave in and like buy it myself. But this was one of the things It was like pretty up there on my list of things that I wanted as a gift. Because it's a hand cream. It's a $50 hand lotion. Like, it'd be nice if it was like a Christmas gift or like a stocking stuffer. I don't know. But it didn't happen. <laughs> Moral of the story, it didn't happen. So I bought it myself. And then that happened. So I was very devastated. But it is what it is. It's just so freaking cute. It's an egg. It's like an egg shape. The product itself, I don't know if I got like a faulty one. I mean, I'm running it low on it. But... It's been, since day one, been very hard to squeeze the product out. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I shouldn't have to work this hard to squeeze out a dollop of, like, lotion. You get me? But the actual cream itself is really, really good. I don't really like Chanel, like, typical scents, but if you are into that, you will love it because the actual lotion itself dries so fast it doesn't leave that greasy feel if you like it just try it they have like a black one they have a less richer one but this is this is it i like it oh this is a fun little product i got this in aruba i was just like walking around and i saw this and i've never seen this ever in my life it's a deodorant just high and dry powder fresh roll on the shape it's kind of funny i feel like it's a little inappropriate but at the same time like i don't know what to think of it it's cute in a weird way but i can't figure out what the brand is yeah it's like liquidy it's so cute it just looks very cute on my vanity that's why i bought it and it smells like baby powder but yeah it's cute Let's do it. and then oh freaking aritzia oh i'm wearing let me show you. It's very hard to see, but it's the Georgia cardigan or something. I just uploaded a um, Aritzia try-on haul, so you can check that out. But this cardigan is featured in that haul, and it's it's great. I, I love it. But there was a shirt that I bought in two different sizes. That's why I had to like return it. And I do mention in the video that any sale items that you buy on Aritzia, like you don't get full refund it's it's kind of annoying you get a store credit i hate store credit but it's a cute card so one of the last items i have is my perfume it's the gypsy water from byredo mm, it's so good this is the baby one i have the bigger one and i also have another one called belle de freak but this one is definitely my go-to. I mean, the packaging is like so good. Gypsy water, the notes are, the ones that I remember are vanilla and sandalwood. And I think those are probably the strongest notes that I can smell. I usually like sweet scents, but not like candy, but like a little bit of hint of vanilla usually helps. Um, something floral and sweet at the same time if that makes sense this was like my ride or die this entire year in the beginning but i feel like it's starting to get really hot and i hate wearing heavy perfumes or like sweet scents during summertime because it just feels like you're wearing too much like makeup or like perfume time to switch out to like a more summery scent but in the meantime it's been serving a great purpose the last thing is a comb there's like construction going on in front of me so let me wrap it up so i was using paddle brushes and i don't know why maybe it's because my hair is bleached or you know like lack of protein i don't i don't really know maybe my dog hair but these paddle brushes were getting so disgusting and dusty and i would always wash them 
and as soon as I brushed my hair again it would just go back to being like really disgusting and I felt like it was kind of damaging my hair so I googled it and someone recommended a wide tooth comb so I got this one um, handmade in France very fancy love it if you want a brush that's not too pulling or you want to protect your precious hair give this a try and it's very portable as well it's just like very thin you can like stick it at everything so yeah the Aritzia sale is still going on, so if you want some recommendations, um, then you can definitely check out my previous video. But yeah, thank you so much as always for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!